Hi, I'm still trying to pre pre um, perfect the tangle striping with a twist. And so I'm going to attempt it again today. So in order to do it, and the, the um, tangle was developed by Margaret Bremner, I think her um, uh, website or her blog post is Enthusiastic Artist um, Blogspot. So I'm going to start a um, third of the way down, maybe. And I'm going to start with the teardrop here. Uh, I wanted it to go more like this. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go down and off the page. Let's clean this up a little bit. My pen does not feel particularly juicy. Let's see. Let's see if this different one will work better. And I'm using the Micron 01 for this in the brown color. All right, and then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see, I wanted to go that way more. And then pop the page. Now, I want to attempt to put 10 lines in the middle here. And we need an even number for this to come out right. So I'm going to use a pencil and try to divide this up by putting 10 dots right here. One. Oh, that's way too close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what we're going to end up doing is going around and down like this. But I'm going to start by just making that much. Trying to get these lines equidistant apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now I have the spacing, let's hope. I'm going to go start here and go up and over and follow this down. So I'm going to start here, I'm going to go up and over and follow this down, going right along that one. And I'm going to make it a little bit wider at the bottom like that. I'm going to turn it around this way and do the same thing. Up and around and follow this down like that and I'm going to keep going up and around and then follow 
this town. room in here I'm afraid or in here rather If I had done this, they would have all come here, like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. And this way. This way, this way, and this way. <laughs> so, I am going to color it in with a black pen, because I have a black pen that is really juicy. Someplace? Here it is. And... Going to be easier to fill it in and we're going to go every other one so this was my first one this cannot be black because otherwise it you know it really needs to be white so we need to do this one and this one and this one skip this one skip and this one and on the other side we're going to do this one and this one, and this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to go ahead and color this in, and I'm going to speed it up so that you can just see it at the end. Well, the side, the sides turned out okay. This is a little bit messy, but I really need to, to, as I was going around here, start coming out more like this. And if you watch the video, you'll see I got this far, 
and then I realized what I should have been doing and then I just did these lines and maybe that that works too I'm going to go ahead and heat this up to with all that blacking on it I wanted to make sure it was really dry before we started shading and as I shade I'm not going to even try to shade on the black because um, all that ink has started to tear down the fibers of the of the paper and I don't need to exasperate that ex exacerbate that so let me put the here 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 and here as you just saw and then on the white here and here and here and laying down quite a bit of graphite right there and then I'll use my tortilla to pull it out again trying to avoid rubbing on the black And on this side, okay. And I might put in a little more graphite to make it a little bit darker there. And I would say that was pretty much done. I might want to add some white chalk and I would put it here and maybe here. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. It's, it's, um, I think it's a stone of some kind. And then I'll get a regular chalk pencil. Just to darken that a little bit too.
<laughs> probably didn't need it. Now I'm sorry to put it in. I think the shadow looks better if you go sideways where the shadow should be. If you look at these two, this this is too stark, too straight. So I'm going to do the same thing here by just going sideways with this. Give the edges a little bit of jaggedness, which would be more realistic. Okay, that's not bad. Still needs practice here. I'm not good at making my my lines even, <laughs> but I'm pleased with it just the same. So I'm going to publish this anyway. You guys can see what I did and see if you like the way I did it or give you some ideas to maybe work on your version of um, stripings with a trust. Thanks for watching.